What's up, everyone? This is Roman from Hydra Painting, and my orcs, the new book comes out. I'm excited. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that um, I've been working on, kind of grabbing some things together for my first two kind of orky lists that I'm coming out with. So uh, trying out Bully Boys here, and then I have my Dread Mob here. So I just kind of want to talk over some of the stuff that I have and kind of show you guys this. Sorry if there's a lot of background noise or the sound isn't that great. I'm in my garage right now and, you know, there's cars and everything. So hopefully it's not too bad. But yeah, this is all my stuff for these two detachments. I have a lot of more orc stuff out there, but uh, I'm going to start off with the Bully Boys here. This is probably my favorite detachment because uh, I know this is going to sound probably like not very orky, but I don't like a lot of orcs. Uh, back in the day, back in 5th edition and stuff, I had to run... You know, the 120, a bunch of 30-man boy squads, and it was kind of tiring. I didn't like moving a bunch of stuff around, and everything ends up dying. So, Bully Boys was a pretty cool kind of detachment. You know, I used to run a lot of knobs, too, uh, back in the day. I don't think they were called Bully Boys. I think it was called, like, the Blitz Brigade or something. Or Gaz had, like, an apocalypse detachment from way back when, where he would lead, like, a unit of knobs and mega knobs would lead them or war bosses would lead them and it was like this giant shit brick house of orcs so this is kind of like reminding me of that so it's pretty cool um gaz is my warlord here uh this list is really familiar really uh close to the list that i used in like the league that i'm part of um i made it to the playoff round unfortunately i lost um so that was pretty sad but uh I did pretty well. I was on the top of my pod, so I'll be moving up to the next pod. And, um, you know, that list consisted of Mega Knobs with Gaz, Mega Knobs in the Battle Wagon here, uh, two units of War Bosses in Trucks, so boom and boom, all Power Claws, two units of Storm Boys, which I have over here, you know, the Wagon, and then I had Commandos and Snickrot, but... Those probably those two were probably the weakest. It also had flash gigs. Flash gigs are like not existent now um, in the new codex because Bad has gone. So that's super sad. Um, so when life gives you lemons, you throw them away and yell wah. So that's where I just added in another unit of uh, knobs with um, a war boss, and then I added in a unit another unit of five mega knobs with a uh, war boss and mega armor. Uh, this is a new guy that I kind of built and painted up recently. Um, he's all fancy. He's made from an aimbot. The head is from like an Age of Sigmar orc. Um, and then just a bunch of random orky bits. So uh, I really like him. He's cool. I like the little angel wing I put in the back. I imagine him he like murdered some blood angel captain and then just stuck it on his back as a trophy. Uh, Want to give this guy the enhancement for deep strike. And then this guy over here is going to have the Iron God because he's screaming and yelling. Uh, so this is my list for Bully Boys. Using index points, I'm pretty sure it's all going to go up and I have to get rid of something. So I'll probably get rid of like the third unit of knobs that I just had to scramble together over here. Uh, each unit of knobs is being led by a War Boss. You have to kind of do it. And then War Boss again in Mega Armor. War Boss in Mega Armor. Gaz with five... Mega knobs, metal mega knobs, by the way. So these guys are old school. Uh, I really like this list. I like the two turns of law. It's pretty brutal. Four feel no pain on the mega knobs is brutal. All the stratagems are great. Uh, you know, tricks in there. And this list is going to be fast. It's going to hit hard. And I'm excited. Uh, one thing I've been noticing is people are talking about the big mech and mega armor, putting it in a unit. Of boys and just making them like even tougher and bringing them back. I think the war boss and or the big mecha mega armor isn't as good because what bully boys wants to do is just go in and just start beating the crap out of people. Because yeah, like more defense is cool and bringing people back and the four up invul against shooting. But if you just get rid of those things that are doing damage to you and making you, you know, be more defensive, then you don't have to worry about that. You know, the best defense is. A great offense i think that's the quote or something like that so uh just put in the mega boss gives him the plus two to hit he himself now uh gives it makes his uh big chopper uch chopper damage three on the wall 
so he's doing work too. Uh, just go out, out on offense. No shooting, anything like that. Just straight up, I'm going to punch you to death. And that's the list for the most part. It does have two units of Grotz. So here are the Grotz over here chilling with the Dread Mob. Um, and this is going to be it. I'm excited to try this out. going to play some games on the weekend. Now I'm going to move over here to my Dread Wall. So I actually haven't done Dread Wall when I first got back into playing Orcs uh, at the kind of end of 8th edition. I wanted to do the Dread Mob. But... You know, then 9th edition hit, and a lot of the stuff wasn't super good to really play. So I kind of dropped it and went more of the, like, knobs and mega knobs route uh, with my Death Skulls. But now that they are, you know, the Dread Mob has that awesome rule support, the button rule, and awesome cool stratagems. I can't wait to bring them out. So at the core of it all, it's going to be a unit of six Rocket Killicans. Over here, there's my homeboy Cornelius. He's my favorite Killican. Um, and then I have a unit of three Killicans. All of them have rockets. Two Death Dreads. Boom, boom. A Mork or Gorkonaut. This is a Gorkonaut. A Mega Dread and a Mecha Dread. Now, these two dudes, they were going to be a Morkonaut, but I don't have a Morkonaut yet. Um, or they get replaced and just become another six man unit of Killicans. And I think I'm leaning towards more killer can so I have to get more um, I do have a unit of 10 Ludas it sucks that I can't bring the big brick of 15 anymore now it's just a 10 and they are being led by an old school uh, metal this is a metal guy so if I drop him I'm gonna cry uh, metal big mech with shock attack gun um, I'm really sad that Ludas kind of stay the same and the mechs don't really do much with them because Ludas already re-roll ones to hit during shooting and the big mech, that's what he gives out. So it's probably going to go on to mech guns instead of a unit of Ludas. But I'm going to try out the Ludas because I like Ludas a lot. Ludas were like really big back when I was playing in 5th edition and 6th edition, 7th and 8th. And, you know, now all of a sudden um, Games Workshop's afraid of like orc shooting. So they're not as good. Even though these rockets are disgusting with all of the special stratagems and all of the stuff that you can do with them. Extra attacks if you roll well. Sustained, lethal... Uh, damage with, uh, what's that strat called? Uh, bigger shells for bigger gits. So, I mean, it's pretty gross. I'm excited. This list does have a unit of, of Grotz. And it does have a unit of 10 boys, just for that sweet, sticky objectives. It does have a unit of Mega Knobs, too. It's going to have this unit of Mega Knobs here. But it's only going to have three Mega Knobs in the me Mega Boss. And they just hop in uh, Gorky the Gorkonaut over here. Lots of shooting too. I'm excited to see his potential with the button and all the stratagems. But I'm just really happy to bring all these clanking big boys. This list may not be as good as it should be at the moment. Again, because I think the detriments are the Mega Dread and the Mecha Dread. Uh, the Mega Dread does do the mech stuff and it is a big mech. So it could be a lot of fun and heal and give the plus one to shooting to the Gorkonaut. So they're going to be like a module. But it's very expensive. I'd rather just have the little mech, which I do. But with the points and stuff, I wanted to bring kind of two big guys. Or medium-sized big guys, because this guy's a big guy. And then the Stompo, which I'm getting with the Stompa box coming out, that's going to be super cool. So I'm really excited about that. Um, I think I'm going to try these guys out in a game tomorrow. Maybe I'll post pictures or do a little video on it. But I'm excited. Um, there'll definitely be stuff on my Instagram if you want to check it out at Broman Cruz. Um, so B-R-O-M-A-N. And then Cruz is in like Boat Cruise. So all that together, and that's my Instagram. It'll be in the description if you want to kind of check out pictures or any more stuff that I have. I have lots of stuff on my Instagram. I mostly post there because I'm lazy and I don't want to make videos because uh, I'm very self-conscious about my videos. But hey, if you tell me sweet, good nothings, then I will uh, do a lot more dumb little videos. So yeah, very excited. Uh, tried out some rust pigments on these guys because they were very bright and silvery. So hopefully you can tell that they look a little dirtier. Uh, Mecha Dread's probably one of my favorite models, Mecha and the Mega. I'm afraid that they probably, like in the next round of like model reevaluations or something, that I think they're also not being made anymore. Like you can't buy them from the web store. So I don't think they're going to exist. So that's why I want to get a Morkin out or get more Killicans in before these guys like disappear forever and they just stay on my shelf with Bad Ruck and my Flash Kids and the Burnas. 
and whatever else is useless. Uh, I'll probably make another video similar to this with Speed Freaks and Green Tide. Although with the Green Tide, again, uh, when I kind of restarted my orcs, I didn't really have a lot of boys. Right now, I probably have like around 50 or 60. So I still need to buy a lot and make more. Um, but yeah, that's about it for my Dreadmaw and my Bully Boys. I'm super excited. I'm going to hit up some RTTs, mostly with Bully Boys. Although I do want to be like cheeky and fun and use the Dreadmaw because they just look so damn cool. Like Orky Dreadnoughts. Like they really hit it out of the park with this Codex. It's giving me like really big like back in the day 5th edition vibes with Phil Kelly and his like awesome book. And I'm really excited. Uh, the index was okay. But man, this book, they just hit it out of the park. And Custody's getting kicked in the balls too. Like that's great. I'm super excited about Custody's. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a Custody's player, but I'm not sorry because uh, I don't know. I, I, I think that the Golden Dudes dudettes whatever um shouldn't have been an army in the first place they should have just stayed on uh terra chilling on the golden throne but yeah that's it um i'm gonna be in another another season of the league that i'm part of is starting up so i'll join that league and i'll have the book um right now the book is coming out a week away for me so i pre-order the book the stomp of boys so I'll have a lot more stuff coming up, but damn, like, I'm so excited as an orc player, and I hope you guys are too. So, that's it. My name's Roman. Thank you for watching me ramble on about my love for my orcs. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you like it. Like, subscribe. If you want to see more stuff, let me know. I'll be happy to kind of show you. Uh, yeah. Alright. Love y'all. Bye!